Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In advance of hearing the welcome speech from our head of post, um, we're very pleased to be able to introduce to you the Linhinyi Primary School Choir, who are going to sing the national anthems. The choir are multilingual, they're multi-award winning, and they also play in multiple places around Hungary and Europe, recently playing in front of the Pope. So we're very pleased that they're able to be with us here today. So I'd ask you if you could all, uh, and your phones, be quiet as, as they sing the national anthems. Thank you. Először is engedjék meg, hogy ezen a szép nyári napon melegen üdvözöljek mindenkit. Jelesül az itt megjelent államtitkarokat, a diplomáciai testületek képviselőit és minden kedves barátunkat. Örülök, hogy ilyen sok jó ember gyűlt össze ilyen kis helyen, és valószínűleg önök is örülni fognak, mert rövid leszek. Éppen ezért a biztonság és a gyorsaság kedvéért kérem engedjék meg, hogy angolul folytassam. A year is a long time in the life of a British Embassy. The last time we celebrated the Queen's birthday, our ministers were waiting for confirmation of their new Hungarian counterparts after the election here. The United Kingdom had a coalition government and our Prime Minister was just launching his initiative to reform the EU. The United Kingdom was chair of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance and Prince George was an only child. A lot has changed since 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk to you for a moment about bees. Not because this is a summer garden party and bees are always a hazard, particularly where ice cream is involved. Not because bee communities are totally dependent on their queen, although personally I find that a good style of embassy management. <laughs> but because the British Pavilion at Milan Expo, celebrating products, technology and ideas which are grown in Britain, 
is built to resemble a beehive. On your way into this beautiful, beautiful garden, you will have seen some exclusive footage and heard some exclusive sounds related to the pavilion and the life of bees. If you missed the sound of the queen bee, do go back and listen again. I can't lead you as our Milan pavilion does on the dance of a bee. Although if you stand too close to the roses, you might find some bees dancing in your direction. But today you can wander through an impressive range of products and services grown in Britain and generously provided by our gold sponsors, Vodafone, BAE Systems, the British International School, Shell, Tesco, and Marks and Spencer. Our silver sponsors, Unilever and Land Rover Jaguar, and our bronze sponsors, Diageo, Costa Coffee, and Provident. Our pavilion in Milan is next to the Hungarian pavilion, which opened last week. And the man behind the British pavilion's technology has Hungarian parents. So let's also celebrate things which are grown in Hungary, including the pupils of the Lemhenyi Primary School Choir, Chippy Cake, who sang the anthem so beautifully for us. I'm also delighted to welcome here today some of the cast and crew of the British film Love in Budapest, the first international musical film to be made in Hungary. The British film industry is a huge success story, and it's great to see it alive and well in Hungary. On a slightly smaller scale, I've invited some of our friends from the Romedia Foundation to make some short videos today. Please take a moment to talk to them in the garden or indoors where it's much cooler about what you think is good about Britain and talk to them about what they do and the valuable support they offer young Roma women, including multimedia training to help them make their voices heard. Ladies and gentlemen, I started by saying that a lot had changed over the past year. We now have a new British government. Hungary has taken over the chair of the Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, and we have a new member of the royal family, Princess Charlotte. But some traditions remain. The sun always shines for the Queen's birthday party in Budapest. <laughs> in spite of our best efforts to bring you some real British summer weather yesterday. <laughs> Her Majesty, who is now 89 years old, looks beautiful in the new portrait by David Bailey, which you will have seen on your way into the residence. And we continue to toast her health and happiness. So ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please to raise your glasses to Her Majesty the Queen and the President of Hungary. The Queen and the President. And can I now say, this is the end of the speech, uh, for those of you who are expecting a special guest, I'm very sorry, our special guest has been detained <laughs> um, and hasn't been able to make it today. There might be another opportunity to see him, and I'm really sorry for those whose appetites I had whetted for that. <laughs> and last but not least, gentlemen, please, please, please take your jackets off. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't already, and ladies, take off whatever you like. <laughs> The party starts now. Sounds like a real <laughs>